Welcome to West Virginia and Commonplace. Uh, today, this episode is Discover New Jersey. Um, I live in West Virginia. I'm from Virginia originally. And there's certain things that happen when you travel to different places. For instance, when you're over in my area, which is the Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, um, Kentucky, West Virginia area, we have certain ways that we turn. And I'll take Michigan out the mix because Michigan's kind of weird when it comes to making turns in traffic. You come to New Jersey. In New Jersey, you don't make turns. They have U-turn lanes, but they don't have the normal medium where I can just make a left and get to where I'm going. So if you don't go to McDonald's the right way, you're not going to get McDonald's. You're going to drive 15 minutes down the road to turn around at one of these U-turn places to get to McDonald's. Second of all, um, things are a lot more expensive, obviously. Those are things that I will not discuss. That's just something crazy in the atmosphere here. It is way different than, say, West Virginia or Virginia. Um, in those places, they're a little subtle, a little bit more laid back. But, but New Jersey, um, in the area that I'm in, is close to the Atlantic Ocean. It's kind of like, I'm wondering like, why these people have so much pressure on them. Everybody is in a rush to get somewhere. Their speed limits are 55 miles an hour, and these people race down the highway at 80 miles an hour. Um, people are, uh, not as polite, uh, in New York, I, I, I get the similar thing in up North sometimes in different places It happened in Boston before, but here it's not so much a, 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 a negative tone to it. It's like a, a certain type of arrogance that they have. Um, you hear some things like, Hey buddy. And I didn't know what Hey buddy was until I was here for a while. And, um, after hearing Hey buddy, I didn't realize that it was not the terminology you want to be called here. And then um, I noticed that if you wear a black shirt here and um, you're of any other ethnicity that's not white in this instance, people will ask you questions about what's going on in a store. I was just randomly in a store and someone was asking me the prices of the Roku players. Mind you, I'm inside Walmart and I had a black shirt on. Employees in Walmart don't wear black shirts. So that was kind of weird there. Next thing, um, the restaurants here, um, Popeye's is a staple everywhere, but Popeye's in this area that I'm in right now has a strong hold and there's no KFC in sight. Now, mind you, everybody has their own tastes in chicken. Everybody where I'm from loves Zaxby's, so we'll go to Virginia and North Carolina get it. Or some people like the chicken of Bojangles or churches, which church we can throw that out to mix because it's garbage to me. But, um... One thing about New Jersey that I didn't remember from the last time I was here, but being here now, is that it does have a lot of vegetation. The one thing in particular that has thrown me off is everywhere I've gone, there have been eight foot fences. I mean, they do not care too much or feel right about the pedestrians here. They want the pedestrians on the sidewalk, but... You know, in other places like in West Virginia, man, it's nothing for somebody to cross the highway to get to a Dollar General, get to Family Dollar. But here, oh no. And everything is has a certain type of segregation to it. Like certain stores, I notice, like the hipper stores have a certain plaza. And then there's other plazas for everything else, which is like that other places. But here it's kind of crazy. If you turn right, go left, and then go right twice. You may end up in a section that has a Dollar Tree. But if you turn left, go right, and make two lefts, you may end up in a section that has a Dollar General close to a Walmart. Another thing, the Walmarts in this area have a scarcity to them. It's kind of like they're just like right there, um, you know, here and there, like in certain areas. But you find Target everywhere. Every time I made a left turn, that's when I saw a Target. So I'm thinking to myself, man, this is kind of outrageous. Then other things I notice, um, the hotels and just the general price to live here. Like I I love when I get to travel to all these different places, but man, it always makes me respect where I live because where I live, like you can have a a life and still keep money. I'm seeing out here people are paying twenty seven hundred dollars a month for certain things, and I'm like, how do you make that much money to live in in these certain places? The one thing that I will say that is nice and developed about these areas, though, are they do have nice townships in the boroughs and different things like that are nice uh, in the areas that I've been to, except for New Brunswick. I won't speak bad about any place here, but I will say this. Um, 
this is always a great place to come visit. Um, maybe if I had grown up here, then I would understand. But one thing I do know, and one thing that I do respect about any person that lives in this this northern Atlantic area, I understand now why people don't go places and don't go visit people because you have to literally pay a toll everywhere you go, literally. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, because in West Virginia, you pay them tolls to go through it because we got to get paid because you coming through West Virginia. But here, 95 cent for this and that. And, you know, it'd be crazy to come from Boston all the way to New Jersey because it's going to cost you more than it would cost me to leave my house and go to Columbus, Ohio. So with all that being said, uh, I will say this about New Jersey. New Jersey is a uh, different kind of speed, different kind of place. Um if I uh, grew up here, like I said, once again, maybe it would be a place that I would definitely want to come I would come back to. Or if I was born here, it would probably be a place that I would leave. Because there were certain subtle things that I noticed. Like in the town, uh, I was in a town called Freehold. Freehold was a very nice place. It had that um, the down south feel of a town. But once you got outside that town, once again, it was this mysterious eight foot fence around everywhere. And the thing that I noticed that while I've been here, and it may be because of COVID, the people are really not outside like that. Like they come out to go shopping. You see, you'll see hundreds, millions at these stores. But when you look at like the recreational places, and some some of the days that I've been here has been hot, but like today is a beautiful day. Nobody's outside, and uh, that's just my take on New Jersey. So it's been a little different. Been been kind of fun for me to a degree to be somewhere different for a little while. But at the same time, it's kind of like, man, I miss West Virginia. With that being said, though, I want to thank you guys. And this is one of those mini episodes I do. It's one of the little just short ones to the point. Um, just talking about my experience here thus far. And um, I hope everybody's having a great summer. And um, definitely make sure you uh, pay attention to the different series that we got going on. We got a lot of different things going on with a lot of different podcasts. I'm doing more integration uh with the podcast, like, I'm reaching out, like, let's make fun episodes, let's do this and that, instead of the tried and true uh, talk show that I do, um, for the simple fact that uh, over some time it does get kind of old, and, I, and I'm been thinking to myself, like, yeah, you know, let's branch out, like, where we did the true crime episode, uh, Stacy and I, we will dive into some more episodes into things like that. So, once again, I want to thank you guys for being listeners, and this episode uh, is done. <laughs>